reports that Mohope appears to be all right. Will defend his WBC Super Featherweight Championship against Bobby Chacon of Los Angeles, California. In Uganda, now living in England, his record reflected there on your screen. I talked to him earlier today, not only about winning a championship, but the excitement that goes with defending it for the first time. Yeah, it's very exciting because um, that's when everybody wants to see whether you're a true champion if you succeed uh, defending the title, which I'm going to do tonight. And I'm going to defend the title successfully and I should come out the true champion. Can it be that you are as calm as you appear and sound or is there a fire burning inside of you? There is a fire burning inside of me and uh, it's waiting to come out of me as soon as I step in the ring and the first bell rings, that's when the fire is going to come out. <laughs> Calm young man. He goes today against a tough fellow from Southern California, Bobby Chacon, his record reflected there. Bobby Chacon himself was a featherweight champion going back into the middle 70s. He fought in one year an incredible group of talented people. He won the championship in 1974, he lost it in 1975. And during that time, he lost some of the zest for it. But now apparently it's back, and this could be a big moment in his fistic career. Bill Kaplan is the ring announcer, and preparing now to introduce the principles for today's championship fight, which will be conducted over 15 rounds under the rules of the Nevada State Athletic Commission. the Super Featherweight Championship of the World. And it is scheduled for 15 rounds or less. Introducing first in the blue corner, the former featherweight champion of the world from San Fernando, California. I thought Bill was going to strip a gear. <laughs> but we got it done. <laughs> the tail of the tape, you can see their reach is the same. The height edge will go to Boza Edwards. The weight, approximately the same. 130 on the official weigh-in. 129 and a half for Boza Edwards. And the age edge would go to the young man now fighting out of London, England. Bobby Chacon has said publicly a number of times over his career, as a matter of fact, looking back over the years, I think this may be the fourth time that Bobby has indicated this would signal the end of a career in which he became the darling of Southern California boxing. He says he will box until the end of this year, and then he'll call it quits and spend the rest of his days in a productive manner with his family. The referee is Carlos Padilla from Las Vegas. The judges are Dwayne Ford, Lou Tabbitt, Joe Swessel. They're all out of Las Vegas. The judges will tabulate the scoring. The referee will not have a ballot. The ring size is 20 by 20. The glove weight, 8 ounces. And we're ready to go with round number one. Scheduled for 15 or less. Jose Edwards in the white trunks. The left-hander, obviously. Bobby Chacon in the dark trunks. on the fight, if you'd like to sort of prepare yourself to see what transpires over the next few rounds, the history of the two fighters might well indicate that Chacon could get off to the early lead, but through the middle of the fight and toward the end of it, we'll see. 
Cornelius Boza Edwards finished particularly strong against Rafael Bazooka Lima in winning the championship in Stockton, California, March of this year. Chacon, on three different occasions, admitted losing his zest for training, simply did not want to pay the price for keeping himself in the Spartan life required these days of a young man who wants to be a champion of short right hand. And Chacon, a little off balance, goes down to a knee, not ruled a knockdown. He was off balance, it was a short right hand, popped on the side of the head. And Boza Edwards is finding Chacon with the right hand in the early going. In the history of both these boxers, they have been cut quite a bit. Good right hand by Chacon, flush on the chin of Boza Edwards. So both open with some authority in round number one. Cornelius Boza Edwards got into boxing with Jack Edwards. A hard right hand by Chacon and it rocked Edwards. It rocked him back. Another right hand by Chacon. The Boza Edwards battle by a straight right from Chacon. Chacon finding him with the right hand. To the body goes Chacon. Chacon, a young man with a very sunny disposition, always smiling. He just missed with that straight right. So the left-hander is right now sort of moving into Chacon's power. Ten seconds to go in round one, and Boza Edwards hooks for the right hand and gets him on the side of the head. Mazia didn't like it, felt he'd hit him with the heel of the glove. Two, live from Las Vegas, Nevada. Chacon comes out with a slap to the side of the head. He tried to hook on Cornelius Boza Edwards, the champion. I thought Chacon might well have won that first round. Bobby goes deep to the body. Quick right hand by Chacon, finds it. The corner people, for Chacon, George, uh, Frank Serracho has trained him. The corner men are Nick Surface, E.F., and Norm Lockwood. Lockwood, a good cut man. Cone just missed with the right hand. The managers for Bobby are Red Tracton and Jackie Barnett. For the champion, Cornelius Boza Edwards. Mickey Duff is the manager. George Francis, the trainer. Jackie McCoy working the corner today. Brilliant cut man along with Mickey Duff. Jose Edwards now able to slip that right hand here in round number two. That tagged him in round one. Jose Edwards a little more aggressive here in round two. Right hand flicked to the face, followed by the left in a combination. Both of them are fine boxers, but they will mix it, and especially Chacon. When he senses he might have a man hurt, he becomes a swarmer. Always has. Good right hand by Chacon. Not quite all of it. Boza Edwards got part of it with the glove. The WBC Super Featherweight Championship on the line today from Las Vegas. Chacon loses his mouthpiece after a combination to the head by Boza Edwards. Edwards hits him again with that right hand as Bobby Duck's coming in. Mickey 
Mickey Duff shouting to Boza Edwards to keep the pressure on. He's now finding Bobby with that stiff right-hand jab. End of round two. Round number three, scheduled for 15. After two rounds, pretty close, probably even. Chacon the first round, Edwards the second. One of the old basic truths in boxing, if you can keep your opponent backing up, you've got an edge. If you let him come forward, that's momentum. Rosa Edwards taking a right hand to the body from Chacon. He was born in Kampala, Uganda as Cornelius Boza. English chief hunter Jack Edwards brought him to England and he took Edwards' name after his own name of Boza out of respect. moves in, throws a hard right hand to the body. Boza Edwards, a hard right hand to the head. Another one to the head by Boza Edwards. And he fights off the ropes strongly. Neither man is marked as yet. Boza Edwards missing with the wild left. Chacon works well to the body. Chacon with a right hand to the side of the head. But Boza Edwards inside is scoring well enough. Right hand by Chacon over the top. Caught Boza Edwards on the jaw. But Cornelius fights Chacon away again. We'd like to alert our stations along the line at the end of this round we will take a station break tough grueling round with a hard right to the body. We'll be back with more of the WBC World Super Featherweight Championship fight after this word from our local station. Into the center of the ring for round four. I have the fight even. The third round was a bruiser. Both men giving, both men taking. There are those who feel the title fight between Cornelius Boza Edwards and Bazooka Limon in Stockton back in March. A couple of right hands there. Another one by Chacon. They feel that fight may go down as the fight of the year. And I'll tell you, this one so far has not been too tacky either. And Chacon right now is able to bring that right hand over the top and he has hit Boza Edwards with it four times. They exchange right. There's another right by Chacon. So he's found a chink in the armor right now.
Roger Cohn has started to find him with that right hand. He's bringing it over the top. He's hit him a half a dozen times hard with it. Now Boza Edwards. He hasn't found him yet. He had him on a rope, but he can't find him. Cohn able to slide away from him. There's a hard left to the side of the head. Conditioning may rest somewhere within the bottom line of this one. There's that short right again by Chacon, right on target. Chacon lost his mouthpiece again, second time it's come out. These are 130 pounders, and they are really going at it. The cone's getting wild now here in the closing seconds of round four. Then a lot of in corner of the champion. A look into the corner of the challenger. There's a big Latin group here today, and they are thundering right now for their man, Chacon, as we look at some of the slow motion from round number four. There's that overhand right. He hit him at least seven times with it, and each time he hit him with authority. But Boza Edwards hung in and finished strong. He had Chacon on the ropes at one time, and he couldn't penetrate his defense. But it's that overhand right that may well have given Chacon that round on the scorecards and may well have given him a slight edge in the fight. It appeared that Bobby had some marks when that round was over. Dr. Donald Romeo, the ring physician, noting that when he went back, and you can see it now, there's some puffiness in the corner of the left eye of Bobby Chacon. This is round number five. personal history of Cornelius Boza Edwards. His family sent him to England to Jack Edwards in 1974. And of course, that was during the height of the Idi Amin reign of terror across Uganda. Hard right hand again by Chacon. As a matter of fact, uh, Cornelius and his brother were caught one night by troops and severely beaten. Since he left his home in Kampala in 1974, he has not seen his parents since that time. In fact, none of the family. Came to England, took an English bride, lost his wife to a disease. He has a small daughter, and he's filling both roles. He's also very successful in business. He's quite a young man. Bobby Chacon, now living in Oroville, California. Valerie, three children. He's in the ring this afternoon against Boza Edwards because he said he just simply couldn't walk away from it, still feeling that he could close out his boxing career on a high note. He just simply couldn't walk away without trying. He's trying. a little slower here in round five. Goodness knows it has to slow down somewhere after what we've seen the first four rounds. The short, compact style of Boza Edwards lends itself to the conservation of energy. Partially deflected by Boza Edwards' elbow. Meantime, Cornelius is finding Chacon rather steadily with that right hand and the left side of Chacon's face and the corner of the left eye getting quite puffy. There's that overhand right. It didn't land with a whole lot of authority. Partially deflected. We go now to round number six. 
This could be a very interesting round. Boza Edwards seemed to be taking a little command of this fight in round number five. It appeared that Bobby Chacon was resting. And Boza Edwards nails him with that straight left hand and rocked him back. Now let's see whether or not the conditioning in youth of Boza Edwards is starting to take some toll. It has been a war. Another sharp right hand snapped into the face of uh, Bobby Chacon, rocked him back. So Boza Edwards is finding Chacon a hard, wicked left hand flush in the face, and Bobby shook it off. But it was hard enough to have some effect somewhere over the next. Now, look at this. He's finding the combination pretty steadily. That's the third time that he's found him with that combination. Now, he's got Chacon retreating. Take you back to 1973 with Bobby Chacon when he was really was just getting his career underway in boxing. This was a year that really crystallized him as a, a boxing hero in the Southern California area. As he took on in the same year, Tura Pineda, Del Campo, Crawford, Castillo, Olivares, Ramos, and Del Campo again, and he lost only to Olivares. All those people in one year, 1973. Then it was in 74 that he beat Danny Lopez, who is here watching the fight this afternoon, to win the U.S. Featherweight Championship, and then he knocked out Alfredo Marcano for the World Featherweight Championship, WBC. Then he lost it to Oliveres, June of 1975. But that schedule that he, a fight that he took in 1973, something. Pineda, Del Campo, Crawford, Castillo, Oliveras, Ramos, and Del Campo. All quality. Pretty good right hand there by Chacon, but in the meantime, Boza Edwards is finding him steadily with the right. Once in a while, the combination. Coming to the final 30 seconds of round number six. Hard right to the body. Jose Edwards retaliates to the head. Pretty good right hand by Chacon. Hard left hand again by Boza Edwards. Just missed the target at the end of round six. Going out around number seven of the WBC Super Featherweight Championship fight, the champion Cornelius Boza Edwards in the white trunks, Bobby Chacon in the black. They've been going at it like this since round number one. Exchanging right hands there. Chacon had a great deal of success of the fourth round with a right hand or coming over the top with it. But in rounds five and six, Boza Edwards began to gain control now. Bobby going back to that right hand, trying to reassert himself here in round number seven. The more accurate puncher right now appears to be Boza Edwards. As he lands two solid right hands. want him to move in, move in. They want to keep Chacon backing up if they can. Rosa Edwards peppering away at the left eye. Of Chacon now, getting very puffy. Oh, left side of the face. Bobby showing a little wildness. Sometimes that indicates fatigue. It's turned into a grind. Will 
that's the more accurate of the two now. Jordan's a greater number of punches. Now. Round eight. Boza Edwards. Growing more confident, apparently, as the fight progresses. Bobby Chacon with a little bit of a nick on his nose caused very light bleeding, Norm Lockwood. And Frank Sriracho repairing it. I think you can easily see the left eye has taken on quite a bit of swelling. And that's a result of that right hand of Boza Edwards that's been constantly in the face of Bobby Chacon. Bobby's still working to the body. Rafael Lamone among those at ringside watching the fight. He lost to Boza Edwards. He has beaten and lost to Bobby Chacon. Superbly conditioned, such a willing trainer. I wonder how much impact it's going to have. Rosa Edwards' corner, shouting to move in, move forward. As a combination by Chacon here in round number eight. Trouble. Sorry for that. We'll try to fix it. Alert our stations along the way that at the end of this round, we will take a station break. championship fight after this word from our local station. Here we go to round nine. Chacon rallying in round eight. Fight very close. The three judges, Wayne Ford, Lou Tabbitt, Joe Swessel, the referee, Carlos Padilla, with no vote. While the eye, left eye of Chacon remains puppy. There was no sign of any bleeding that time from the nick on his nose. Super featherweights, 130 pounds. The champion is Boza Edwards in the white trunk. He won the title in March. Stockton and Chacon almost decked him. Boza Edwards rattled by a straight right hand, and Chacon swarms all over him. Boza Edwards almost went down from that right hand. But he hangs in, recovering quickly, and nullified the swarming attack as a follow-up of Chacon, while he almost had Boza Edwards down there. Picked off by Boza Edwards. Boza Edwards.
Edwards has him on the rope, missing a lot inside. Chacon is hard to hit. He's slippery. Jose Edwards is finding him now at short range. the big blow, but Boza Edwards is just throwing them by the dozen, one after another. They just keep coming, keep coming. Into the final 15 seconds, round nine. again with a very puffy left eye. I see no marks so far on Boza Edwards, though he almost went down in round number nine from the right hand. Slow motion look. The champion in the white trunks throws the right, misses. Chacon nails him, coming in with a straight right hand, and he almost toppled. But Chacon swarmed him, and Boza Edwards nullified the attack survived the round and finished with a big flurry. Difficult round to score. Just keep packing him up, pick his shots, pick his shots. Don't miss with him, little up shots underneath and come back. Right? And once you've landed a couple of them, get him back and stick him again. Right? Now the look at the punch that almost toppled your champion, Boza Edwards. Chacon, moving, difficult to hit. Now we go to round number 10. The right hand misses by Bobby at the beginning of the round. He keeps winging away at the body. There's that right again. And he makes Boza Edwards back up a step. That is Ben Chacon's most effective weapon. Right hand over the top. This is one of the first times. Oh, there's that right again by Fratron. Another one by Fratron. But fighting is a featherweight at 125 pounds so difficult for Chacon to make the weight. At 130, he had no trouble. That can mean a lot. Particularly in stamina, endurance. once in a while seems to get a little stationary. And when he does, it's a pretty fair-sized target for the quick Chacon. Bobby's bleeding again just a little bit from that nick inside his nose. Chacon missing there as Chacon, as Edwards comes back and then Boza Edwards misses as Bobby drops his hand. Boza Edwards.
Woods there on the rope. We go now to round 11, live from Las Vegas. And the WBC Super Featherweight Championship at stake in a very, very close fight between two very willing young men. Bobby Chacon, the challenger in the black trunks, the champion Cornelius Boza Edwards in the white. Going back to rounds uh, six and seven, I thought Boza Edwards appeared to be taking control of the fight. But round eight, Chacon rallied. Round nine, he almost put the champion down. And he continues to find him with the right hand, hooked him there with the left of the jaw. Pavilion. Basically, the crowd is a Chacon crowd. It's an epic. There's that overhand right, winging away, and he got the champion with it again. But Jose Edwards just stands in there and takes it and fights back. Cone's head right now in close. Bobby picking off some, some missing, but a lot landing. Cone now bleeding around the left eye. Maybe that same little cut on the nose. Blood is more obvious now than it has been at any time during the fight. think this is the tough 11 rounds of this a lot of blood now on the face of Chacon in a fight like this you got to go right down to the bottom of your soul to find something to keep you going We've got the report from Dr. Donald Romeo, the ring physician, that there's a significant cut in the eyebrow of Bobby Chacon. So we'll keep an eye on it, see whether or not Boza Edwards opens it again. Norm Lockwood is working as the cut man of the corner of Chacon. is peppering his head pretty well in that close-in fighting. Stone's still trying to land that big one coming over the top. See that inside? The champion is hooked, coming up, coming up, coming up, and he is finding Bobby a lot. And he's got some blood coming back as Chacon steps back and unleashes the long right. And you can clearly see now that Boza Edwards is over the cut, and there's a strong right hand looped over the top by Chacon. Now the blood beginning to run down the side of his face from the cut over the left eye. The champion work 
working on him right now. The ball goes to Edwards as the tone sags into the rope. Remember what you said very early on. Conditioning might be an important factor, and of course, youth is on the side of the champion. In his career, Boza Edwards did not bump heads with the kind of people that Bobby Sintone did. He wings that right to the champion's head, trying to fight his way out of the corner. Boza Edwards keeps him there. The left eye is very puffy. The blood is pronounced. It's coming out of a cut in the eyebrow area. see Bobby Saccone going back to his corner, walking literally around in the center of the ring as he now goes to his corner and the champion comes to his and they'll sponge him off and we'll see what we shall see. The doctor has not been asked to come back to the corner to have a look. Wood out there in front, working on the cut. You're coming up on round 13. I just have the feeling that Bobby Chacon needs a big round. Don't miss with them little shots, huh, You see no marks on the champion, Rosa Edwards. So we'll go to 13. to the head of the champion. So that exchange belonged to Chacon. Again, Mickey Duff and George Francis urging Boza Edwards pursue. There's a hard right hand to the midsection by Chacon. Catching the champion coming in. I'm sure some of you may have heard the remark. At least it sounded like one of the corner men said to Chacon, try to go hard one more. Right now, Chacon's winning this round. But he does look tired. He's got to be tired. He is, after all, mere mortal. Boza Edwards has got to be tired. The phone bleeding again. Hard right hand by Boza Edwards. Left hook whistles in. He binds the challenger's head with four solid punches. Hard right hand by Chacon coming off the ropes. Boza Edwards just stands in, flat-footed, winging away. the harder punches of the fight may well have been landed by Chacon. But at the same time, the greater number of blows have been delivered by the champion. No, not effective at the moment. Started off well. into the rope, trying to straighten him up. They've got to like them both for their courage. As Boza Edwards finds him with a left and a right and another left. at the end of round 13. The fight has been stopped.
The fight has been stopped. TKO, 14th round. The winner and still the champion at 130 pounds, super featherweight WBC, Cornelius Boza Edwards. Bobby Chacon could not come out for round 14. And so that comment we heard in the corner. Try to go one more hard had significance. Here's your announcement. By the request of Chacon's manager, the referee stops the fight. It goes as a 14th round knockout. The winner and still super featherweight champion of the world, Cornelius Bowe!